All right, guys, so this is the second take of me recording this, trying to record this. Um, basically, I'm building another wrap from scratch because I have a bunch of wrap parts that um, I got as gifts and stuff. And I just had laying around, which are mostly clone. Um, these are just aftermarket ones. Um, these are 3D printed, have a pretty nice uh, hole pattern. I think it's like a alpha beast hole pattern with these ones and this big uh, line here. Um, yeah, basically just because this wrap is too nice to um, bead and flip over concrete and I'm just too afraid to flip this. So um, yeah, that shouldn't be the case because we want to flip our rallies. But anyways, that's another topic. Um, yeah. So I have a bunch of parts here, I have a bunch of hardware, um, some liners, an acid wash Tanto blade, which I I have ever actually never flipped a Tanto wrap before, so we're gonna see how that is. Just checking if anything is working properly, but it seems like it is, so yeah. Um, so why is this the second time I'm recording this? Because um, I just tried to put these pivots in here and they didn't fit very good. So yeah, I spent like five minutes trying to get this pivot in here, which in the end it worked out, but it took quite some time. But I thought I had to sand uh, the inside of these holes here to get it uh, to fit, but I managed to just hammer it in with, the, uh, with this bit here which you shouldn't do, but I did because I'm too lazy to grab like sandpaper and all that stuff. But I thought, um, let's just show you this as well, because these are just problems you can run in if you are trying to build a wrap. So I got this one through just by hammering it in, but the problem is this one is sticking out now, so I can't just hammer it like this. I hope you can see what I mean. Um, yeah, if the video is just too boring, I'll maybe not even upload it, but I thought let's just record it and then see if anything interesting is coming up. All right, I really have to figure out how to do this here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just keep um, this one in, I just hammered it through and gonna try to, um, oh we need a sun pin, I forgot, if we put this here, maybe it works with even one screw in, only one screw in, I don't know actually, but I could imagine, um, okay that's, the spacer is going to um, probably move around a bit, but let's see if we now put a screw through here, but let's try to get it in here. Okay, um, so in terms of looks, it looks pretty good already, but yeah, I don't know how, how I should feel about the uh, one screw not going in, but let's try to, this is the wrong screw, right? Or is this the Zen screw? Yeah, it is actually, no. No, it isn't. It's just a very short screw. I don't know where it is from. But we should probably search for the screws beforehand. But is this going in here? Yep. Alright, so this is working quite good. Why is it sticking out so much? I don't want to snap the screw, but 
Okay. Um, need a one, another one of these. God, these are so tiny. All right. I hate these tiny screws. Oh my gosh. Shit. I'm just not cautious enough. Okay, I guess the first handle is done. It looks alright. Yeah, so the spacer is, is not moving, which is good. Let's try one more time to just hammer it through. Can't even get it in. A little bit. Right, there we go. I should probably grab a real hammer, <laughs> to be honest, an actual hammer. So let me just look up here. Yup. I think it's working. We actually got it through. All right, that's the technique we're going for with the next ones too. <laughs> I guess um, that's our only way. The only method working. Okay. Yeah, we actually got it. Kind of a messy thing to do but yeah just I guess that's the method if um, your pivots don't go through your scales just hammer them through probably not the best thing to do but uh, there it is first handle looking pretty cool pretty um, thick I have to say though but yeah yeah quite thick actually that's because of the clone scales and clone um, spacers, probably. And the scales are pretty thick too. Yeah, let's see. Let's try uh, the second handle. Why is this not going through here? It's probably because of this. So what happens here is the hole isn't perfectly lined up, which is why now it is. Which is why didn't this one didn't go through. It's still not. We have to loosen up this um, screw gun. Let's put this in here again. Uh, 
All right, looking good. All right, Zen pin screws are the last thing we need. Please go in. Why are you not screwing properly? Oh, because the Zen pin is spinning, right? No, it's not. What's happening? Okay, both of them do not um, screw in properly. So I guess it's either the the Zen pin, which is just weird. What's happening here? Oh wait, I think the screws are just stuck in in the in the freaking uh, scales, but I'm not sure. I should probably loosen up these again. Just to make it easier up here. Let's try one more time. Okay, it's still not working, so I guess we'll have to change the Zen pin. Okay, this one isn't working either. I don't know what's the what's the problem here. If it's just a scale or if it is the the Zen pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to screw it in without the scale to just uh, find out what the problem is. Yeah, so it's the, wait, is it the Zen pin again? I have no idea what's happening. I think it's the combination between the scale and the Zen pin, but it's not even screwing in here. Why though? This is where the whole thing gets disappointing and just not worth to do, but I guess we have to continue because I need to finish what I started. All right, so the camera stopped recording because it ran out of uh, battery. But what we're going to do now is I attach the camera to um, the charging cable and it should record and charge at the same time. If I'm not mistaken, I think it can do that actually. Yeah, um, so yeah, um, I actually figured it out. I don't, yeah, it was this handle. It was just the Zen pin, which was very very um weird acting very weird so yeah but we're we're all good now all the screws are tight this is a very weird camera angle for you guys now but i think it's still better than nothing you know um i just noticed that there's like a little gap in between handle and and scale I don't know why but I think you can see it the scale is a little longer than the liner but let me adjust this yeah, I think it's better now at least on one side Yeah, again, this is going to be my beater, so I don't really need this to be the most beautiful wrap I've ever seen. I just need it to be locked um, in place so that nothing falls apart. 
I'm gonna be um, searching for bushings now on this acid washed tangel. 